Good morning, sunshiners. Today I want to have plenty of fresh flowers. And I, out of laziness, came up with this idea. You know, I got these at the dollar store. Whoops. And they come in this little bag. And I decided today not to take them out of the bag, just to put them in there, you know, because it's a pain to wash them. And, uh... Yeah, this is sheer laziness, but I think it works. So I just put the marbles in there, or whatever you want to call them. And then I'm going to take a rose. These are out of my own garden, so I didn't spend extra money. I love saving money. But anyway, just put that in there. And then I just add my water. This would work if you just need a quick centerpiece and you don't have lots of money, you know, and you find out people are coming over. And I stole this idea from my neighbor. I'm going to put a rose in there. Oops. Sorry, you can't see very good. And then I'm going to take some Queen's and Lace and put it in there. And I'm just going to place this stuff in there. Whoops. Get my rose back up there. It's kind of hard to hold the camera and put the flowers in there, but you get the idea. And I'm going to put this one in there. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. My videos aren't perfect. If you want a perfect video, you have to go to somebody else. Uh, let's see, but hopefully I'll inspire you to do your own flower arrangements for whatever thing you're doing. And you get the idea. I'm just going to put these in there. Oops. Anyway, I wanted to show you. It's looking so lovely. And I'll just keep filling this up until I'm satisfied with it. But I love the idea of sinking the flower down in here because it hides the stems. And then once I get this full, it's going to be hiding the plastic around the beads as well. As you can see, it's not easy to do with one hand, but with two hands, it's going to be a lot easier. See how beautiful that looks? See if I could do it one hand here. I really needed my roses to be a little longer. But it's, you know, getting to be the end of the year and all I could find is the ones with the short stems. And this Queen's Anne's Lace, it does make a mess, but it's so beautiful alongside the, you know, the roses have the majestic red in them and then the bright white of the Queen's Anne's Lace is just awesome. And see how lovely that's looking. And it just gives it that extra layer of color. This poor little bud, it's already gone, but it still smells wonderful. These are amazing. I don't know who planted these roses, but I sure enjoy them. Anyway, you get the general idea. And it's not perfect right now because I've only had one hand, but uh, I really enjoy it and I love sharing my ideas with you. So I hope you have a wonderful, blessed day.